way that we actually use to practice this concept of rubato um, and um, encourage you to do it in your own playing solo-wise and um, in your chamber music groups. So, um, it is a tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, pretty good, let's try it again. So if we slow down in our four, let's see if you guys in your five, six, seven, eight, ten pick it back up. So here's the basic tempo. So we're going to slow down. You guys are going to bring it back to the tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's try it again. It wasn't quite steady, or it wasn't quite together. And, and we, sometimes we want to try to make sure that like the two sides really equal out. So if we slow down a certain way that, that the speeding up is kind of the mirror image of that. Let's try that as a concept. So, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty good. Not bad. One and two and one and two and one and two and two and two and two and one 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 It's great. It's a lot of fun. You guys should really try it. This Take these sections apart and you know, try to count it together, it, it's so informative because you'd be like, oh, well, he really likes this part. Or, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's like, oh, great, you know, and it gets you excited because you realize, 